little change this week. You know the squeaks and squawks I've been getting? That's been taken care of no more. Well, except unless I hit another squeak. Well, never mind. But you know, uh, we taped, uh, you probably realize, we, we taped these shows uh, a few weeks in advance as, as, as to when they are aired. So I won't give the exact date of today, but we are taping this show uh, on a very special special day in jazz accordion music for it was 13 years ago today today on the calendar that we're using uh, or the passing of the great 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 Art Van Dam who you've heard me mention many many times on this show <coughs> excuse me he was he was the greatest jazz accordion player ever he revolutionized the accordion for jazz. He grew up listening to Benny Goodman and listening to what Benny Goodman did on the clarinet. And he said, huh, what if I could do that on the accordion? Ah, well, hello. Uh, I think he did. So today we're doing a show with Art Van Damme's songs, okay? Now, Art did not write any of these songs. But these were some of his favorite songs because you heard you heard them in all his live shows and and even the same song on on several of his albums. I, I believe he he, he uh, recorded something like fifty albums in his career. So like I said, he was the greatest jazz accordion player ever. He pioneered it. Well, I I gotta put a little asterisk there because <clears throat> there is a young man who has sat right here beside me 
several times who I think when all is said and done 20, 30, 40 years down the road is going to have that mantle, a young man named Corey Pesaturo. He, right now, he is the best accordion player on the planet. Doesn't play quite in the style of Art Van Dam. Art Van Dam was kind of a be bebopish, uh, you know, jazz accordion player. Corey just, no idea what he's going to do, and it's all great. So, so that first tune, You Stepped Out of a Dream, 1940, and that, like I said, he played, played that one a lot. And it just went on to be, a, you know, a, a, a very well-known pop and jazz, jazz tune that was played by a lot of people. So I'm going to move on to our next tour, and I think this was one of his real favorites because you, you hear this in a lot of his albums. Well, all these tunes, I guess, uh, from 1937. The tune is called Gone with the Wind. Now, right around that time, a book was written and they made a movie, one of the greatest movies of all time, called, you got it, Gone with the Wind. Now, the uh, the fellow that wrote the song was... was uh, accused of, you know, writing the coattails of the movies. No, 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 just just happened to be the same song. Well, they're all gone now, so there's no way of really knowing. So a little tune called Gone with the Wind. <laughs> pretty much, I, I can say, is just about my favorite song of all times. <laughs> I play it a lot. Watch, I'll screw it up now. 
1939 came from a musical, one of those many, many tunes. Never heard of the musical, but thank goodness the tune persevered. Written by a fellow named Jerome Kern. Now this song <coughs> has been played as a ballad. It's been played, you know, up-tempo. Art mostly did it up-tempo. So I think what we'll do is we'll kind of steal a little little bit from his, his arrangement and play a few of the parts a little, little slower and, you know, kind of kind of do it both ways. But the song is called All the Things You Are. So. this uh like i said all these tones today he he if you went to one of his live shows you 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 would hear hear them all and of course a little different sound uh because his quintet <coughs> consisted of him an accordion bass player uh we got the bass and we got an accordion but then he had vibes and uh, guitar and drums so uh, we're, we're lacking the last three so i just kind of you know, throw the piano in there, and we just get the idea of uh, <clears throat> of the tunes, the tunes that he loved to play. This one came from 1947, this next song, and I believe it was a book that was turned into a movie, and it was, it was the same name, 
no, not the movie wasn't called the same name. The movie is called the same name as the song and the book. I, th I think it's called On Green Dolphin Street. No idea where Green Dolphin Street is or was. <clears throat> Sounds pretty exotic, right? It's probably in Brooklyn or something. I don't know. So here we go. On Green Dolphin Street. But anyway, this next tune was written by my my favorite songwriting duo of all time, Rogers and Hart, Richard Rogers, Lorenz Hart. Uh, Rogers wrote the music, and Lorenz wrote the words and the lyrics. And uh, this is one of their tunes. And when I you know realized it was, I'm saying hello. It's just it's just like something they would write. And it came from a 1926 musical, and once again, one of those musicals that uh, <clears throat> probably closed before it was open, but again, the song persevered. Now, <clears throat> the first time I ever heard this song was on one of Vod's records, and I believe the, remember the old Dick Van Dyke show? I think they did it on that show as part of a skit or something. But anyway, it's called Mountain Greenery, so here we go. Thank <laughs> you. 
Quite the same arrangement as that does it. He changes keys and does all kind of fancy things. I'm just, I'm just me, you know. Nice tune, though. Nice tune. Fun tune to play. Well, we're getting down towards the end of our time today, and uh, <clears throat> this last song, 1928, came from a musical. I think the musical was was relatively successful. It's called Making Whoopie. Oh, and so was the musical, making whoopee, making whoopee. Now, this particular tune, uh, I, you've seen one of my, one of the many accordions I played here is called a Sano, S-A-N-O, and it was made uh, in uh, a company in, in, in New Jersey. And <clears throat> at the same time, I was playing the Sano accordion back in a long time ago, Art Van Dam was playing Sano accordion, so that's that's how I did get to meet him and know him a little bit. Uh, <clears throat> there was an instrument at that time, uh, because all of a sudden this big thing with uh, uh, organ accordions was was coming to fruition, called a Sano box. Yeah, I got one of those too. A fellow named Tommy Ippolito, who you may have heard me mention many times, played Sano box. Tommy was the innovator of the bass lines that I that I use. As you know, I'm no, it's like I'm playing a separate a separate instrument. I'm playing a bass over here and an accordion over here. So sometimes, you know. But anyway, Tommy Ippolito was the pioneer of, of the the, ba the bass and accordion played like that. So Sano put out a a um, uh, I can't think of the right word, but but uh, a, a small, small uh, uh, record, uh, demo record of Tommy Apolito playing Santa Vox with the bass, of course, I fan Dam. And of course, I had a couple of those, and I gave one to a friend of mine to, you know, to, he take it off the record, put it on a, on a thing, you know, thumb drive for the computer. Well, of course, I have no idea where either one is right now, but someday I'll find it. But anyway. Make a long story short, this was the song, one of the songs I played called Making Whoopee. <laughs> Thank 
Well, you know, it's just about time for us to get out of here today. I certainly hope you have enjoyed our little tribute here to the late, great Art Van Damme. And like I said, none of these songs he wrote, but they're all associated with him on a lot of his albums. And of course, he played them all in his live shows. So, so this is Coach Day saying thank you all for watching and listening, however it is you get our, our little show here. And once again, as usual... Thanks to the big man behind the glass, Austin Ricketts. Austin keeps us going here. So here we go.